Hey, what's up LEGO fans and YouTubers? This is Derek Von S, and this is my part two video of me putting all my stuff on my new shelves and preparing for the June 2021 LEGO Harry Potter line. Um, I have put all of my collections here, but real quick, just to give you a glimpse of all this, I am so happy with what I've done. But just real quick, um, so you don't have to watch the whole video if you wanna see all this. This is um, just briefly, um, all my stuff I have set up, um, but I'm going to do a little walkthrough of all these sections and compartments and all the different collections and things like that. Um, but here is the 360, okay, and you know what, I'm going to start right over here actually. Here is my A-Wing, my Death Star, and my characters aligned here with the Darth Vader castle. And I was able to put these three... Um, um, pr pretty much art posters for uh, Marvel Lego up here. Um, that looks great. Here are my Star Wars posters. And there's the R2-D2 that I actually got from, um, which is very odd. I think I got it from uh, the Empire Strikes Back 40 year. But it was from The Last Jedi. And it, I think it goes for around 100 bucks. So I actually skipped buying the Lego version. But I only paid $30 for that. Um, here are my posters. Um, right now, I have the Hufflepuff here. Um, I was calling it Badger Bob with the cup. But unfortunately, the Penguins actually lost. So, here, let me move on here to the uh, top shelf. Um, this is the main reason um, for this video, actually. I am going to put Hogsmeade right there. And there's a character pack coming out. Um, let me see if I can move this. Um, extension cord out a little bit further so I can zoom in a little bit but there we have the slug club let me even uh, zoom in here a little bit um there's all the slug club and all the figures from like pretty much like the astronomy tower there's my little um Hogwarts Express um which will look great next to the Hogsmeade um there we have the Hungarian Horntail set and Hogsmeade is actually going right here actually um here is my castle scene i'll do a, a kind of like a back and forth and then i'll talk more in detail about this here is um pretty much like the entrance hall and the um the astronomy tower i have luna there um up here we have um dolores umbridge and harry and ron i'd like to put them in the gryffindor house but um it's nice to see those figures i like to put my duplicates inside the castle I actually have an outside portion prepared for the new sets um, down here, which I'll get to that later. In just a minute, here is um, Harry handing Dobby the um, Tom Riddle's diary. There's the students arriving to Hogwarts. There's Dumbledore and Neville with the frog. Here we have like my little, I guess like prelude to the Chamber of Secrets. There's Tom Riddle and Hermione looking at the Basilisk reflection. And um, I was able to um, pretty much make this all line up with the green um, across here. I do want to get, um, honestly, um, the top of the entrance hall. I want those um, two round pieces in uh, dark gray. And um, I'll explain later, but I'm going to show the inside of the castle for all this new stuff coming out. So I don't have to worry about really lining things up. Um, there's Nearly Headless Nick, uh, Dumbledore fighting Voldemort. I made this little stand with the founder figures. Um, back here is where I'm going to put the uh, first flying lesson. I think that should connect together. That's going to blend much better than with the new uh, green kind of off-colored stuff. Okay, here is my like Expecto Patronum. There's the Bogart Snape. And also the statue. There's the Whomping Willow. Here we have like kind of like the uh, Order of the Phoenix scene with or um, Umbridge with Grop. Over here we have Buckbeak encounter um, with uh, the Hagrid Hut. This is really cool. Um, eventually I want to get all these figures to, to float. Um, we also have a little like reference back there with Hermione. Um, pretty much like making Snape catch on fire. I think that's really great. But um, I have um, Wood, the um, the Keeper, and um, I think that's Seamus Finnegan or something, a Slytherin. Um, but he, I got him to float up. I need to get more of those pieces. Um, and I think that looks great with Team Dean Thomas um, holding the Gryffindor flag. 
So um, the reason why I'm doing this video and I'm preparing for these June wave things is so I could put the hogs meat here and I'm going to put the flying lesson in between the clock tower and the great hall. And down here, these are all my um, uh, professor ones. But as you can see, um, I'll go over it again. I left all this open. So this is going to be like interior stuff of the castle. Um, here, let me uh, go over here and I'm going to do a walkthrough. I'm um, with my other ones, and um, this is my Diagon Alley scene. Um, I made a little, like, rough, pretty much um, from a book, um, the entrance to Diagon Alley. Um, here's all the Vanders. Um, there is Scribulus. And I like that little um, reference in the back there with Bellatrix, with Nocturne Alley. There's the Weasleys. Um, and also, um, there's Griphook, and he has the Hufflepuff Cup which I'll show you in a minute. I put the sword with Fox for the Chamber of Secrets. I can't wait. I'm actually going to think about making a water scene. Um, I'm going to really, really spurse up the Chamber of Secrets. But um, those are the Hufflepuff and the Ravenclaw torsos for the Quidditch people. And um, I put them on the kind of like a mannequin stand there with the younger people. There's the photographer. Um, here's Florian uh, Fortescue. And, um, and until we get the hogs meat, I'm going to keep these figures right here. But I'm probably, now that I think about it, going to move that in there. And uh, most of those sets I actually pre-ordered. But I think the cheaper ones I'm going to have to buy on at midnight pretty much. And there we have Lockhart. Okay, here's my open portion. And I, if you could see that, I have Fox there with the uh, Sword of Gryffindor. I am so excited for this Chamber of Secrets scene, this set. I can't wait. Um, and, and I don't care about connecting it with my other stuff because I'm going to have interior stuff. So I don't care if it's green on the outside, right? Okay, here is my room of requirement. And most of this is uh, from Order of the Phoenix. But I also put Draco back there with the apple. Um, and then I connected all the classroom books, kind of two on each side. There we have Seamus Finnegan blowing up with the cauldron. Um, we have a uh, slug orange chair. Um, inside this like kind of little corridor. It's like hard to even see it there But there is the uh, Charms class with uh, Professor Flitwick and that's funny because here's his wand right here um, Right here is where I'm gonna put all the girls bathroom and fluffy encounter all that stuff right here. Here is a uh, McGonagall with the uh, Gryffindor um, Transfiguration class and I was also able, because I think this kind of got tucked away next to the entrance hall. I put all of this um, herbology stuff over here. I know there's two different, um, um, Professor Sprout. <laughs> I was going to say there's Professor Sprout. I'm actually holding her wand right now, actually. So I'm going to point with it um, just to show you. So we have two Professor Sprouts. Okay, and uh, here's my miscellaneous stuff, and I'm I'm gonna put the fox next to um, the Hedwig, but I might have to move this stuff around here. Um, there is um, all the Advent calendar and Goblet of Fire, Yule Ball stuff. I think that looks so cool. Um, back there we have the Four Privet Drive with Dobby raising the cake over uh, Aunt Petunia. Okay, and um, and I also put some of these the Goblet of Fire and the um, um, the, the Triwizard Cup, um, right here. Um, there we have Cedric Diggory meeting his demise. Um, these are some promotional things. Also my, um, Night Bus, in which I included the figure that came with the, um, the Hogwarts Express, because I thought that figure was matching up with that scene when H Harry gets off the Night Bus in the third movie. Um, here is the Half-Blood Print, Half-Blood Print scene, um, with Veneer and um, Bellatrix. And I have like um, Kingsley and a bunch of people. Like all kind of in that scene there. And there we have the bow button carriage. Okay, so that's all the Harry Potter stuff. But um, real quick, I'm going to show you down here. Um, here's all my Marvel and Star Wars. I think these are all kind of matching in a way. Um, but these um, are the pretty much like the first 24... The newer nine, and I think there's about nine Star Wars ones. But um, I like these. I think they all match up really nice. I think that's really cool. I'm, I'm going to move down here. Actually, you know what? Real quick. Um, I was able to organize all of my uh, books, actually. So I categorized, categorized everything. 
buy like Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Marvel. Okay, and here's um the first. Let me slide this out so I can uh, get a better look down here. Here is my Marvel stuff, which I've combined together. Um, I, this is my dismal DC section. I sold the Batmobile and kept the figures. But uh, these are all the Comic-Con things, and I was able to put all the Black Widow and the Captain Marvel stuff together. I snuck uh, Ant-Man back there, and there we have the Hall of Armor. Okay, uh, I might as well um, kind of just stay on the Marvel theme right now. Um, here is my Endgame. I think that new set c coming out is going to look great with this Avengers compound. Um, I'm... I'm unsure if I want more Marvel stuff because I'm running out of room and I really want Indiana Jones and Lord of the Rings stuff So I am definitely gonna get that compound though So this is um my like end game little portion here and I was able to put the far from home stuff over here So that's really cool and then we'll slide on over Let me move this box. Okay, this box is very heavy and I just knocked that over, but it's okay. Okay, here's my Infinity War um, scene here, which um, I actually put the uh, time and um, the uh, mind uh, stone with uh, Doctor Strange. And I got uh, Spider-Man swinging there. Here I put uh, the mind stone on Vision's head. Um, these all include um, the, uh, the great four pack, which I have there in the background. But um, I think this looks really, really cool, especially after like Falcon Winter Soldier. I think this is awesome. And um, I have my Infinity Gauntlet, and I was let me push this real quick. Okay, so I'm able to actually light that up with this scene. I think that looks so cool, and I love um all the people fighting them, pretty much um on uh, Thanos's home planet. Okay, now we're gonna jump back to my Star Wars stuff. Okay, this is my pretty much like sequel trilogy stuff. I put all the Knights of Ren together on this little stand in front of the transport ship. And I also uh, created the scene kind of with from Rise of Skywalker when they are chasing them in Pisana. Um, we have also like the Luke Last Jedi thing with uh, Rey. That's really great set. I, there's not too many play sets um, for the sequels. And here we have like uh, uh, Kylo Ren and Rey. Um, battling from the Force Awakens, we have the Sith on um, Dorito, I guess, Tie Fighter, uh, the Kylo Ren ship. And then we also have Poe Dameron's X-wing, some of the Rebels uh, in the Resistance, I would say, really, um, in uh, the A-wing and the um, the uh, the B-wing, Y-wing, and A-wing. Yes. Okay. And uh, there's um, a little. Bit, I left a lot of room because there's some more Mandalorian stuff coming out. But um, I got the, actually the Boba Fett, uh, Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper helmets. Um, there is like so just some of my back here. I'll show you. Um, it's just like kind of my Mustafar 501st Battle Pack and Anakin's. Um, um, I, I I would just call it his ship right now, honestly. But um, I have a lot of room for this Mandalorian stuff. I think that's cool. I made a little stand. Out of the thing that, um, the, the, uh, battle pack, basically, um, for, uh, Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian. Okay, um, here's all my boxes, which I kind of cut off space to get in here. So, all of my, like, bust helmets, I had to kind of just throw in here. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to get through there. Here's my big boxes. Here is my Moss Eisley Cantina scene. And, um, I'm just gonna slowly like kind of i love the cantina and the hot scene i really really am very pleased and i decided to leave this open so you can see um obi-wan um with the um projection of princess leia but um i was even even able to put baby yoda in the new mandalorian beskar armor and again here is um my hot scene which i included the um the x-wing i could have really put that anywhere pretty much but it really looks nice with all this white stuff. Um, I am I really want to get more of these white base plates just to cover the whole entire, pretty much bottom of this. But um, this is I'm I'm gonna zoom out actually just so you can just get a glance at this because this is so incredible. I have two snow speeders. This is awesome. Okay, and uh, there's the cantina that looks so nice together. 
down here um is where I put my Cloud City. And there um are some figures I added a lot of characters, honestly, even with C3PO on Chewbacca's back with Han Solo and the Carbonite. And there's the Best Duel. This is an older set. This is a uh, Yoda's hut. I think this is just fitting because I have so much Empire Strikes Back stuff. Um, there's the Millennium Falcon from the Rise of Skywalker and uh, the new Tie Fighter, which I kind of made the uh, Millennium Falcon kind of blast at it and made it raised up so it looks like it's flying. Um, right here is my um, little stand I made for the Imperial Shuttle because I think it just looks so much better with the ship being open as such. But um, other than that, um, I put it right there pretty much when I have it in the landing position. I just can't fit that stand with the um, the wings being open. But here's all of the uh, Rebels here with the Tantive. I think that looks really cool. I was able to do that kind of just like the, the, like the Knights of Ren. So I think that concludes my video. And I hope uh, everyone's staying safe out there. And uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. Um, thank you very, very much.